Welcome back guys, it's Miss Shah here. I hope you're all doing well and keeping safe. I hope you've done all the work that you did for yesterday. Um, carry on sending over all the work that you do because we love looking at it and we would love we love seeing what you guys are up to and how you guys are getting on. So please send over all the work that you do. Okay, so for today's session you're going to need a pencil and a paper again you don't need anything else so if you have it well done if you don't go quickly grab yourself a pencil and some paper so we'll start off with our word of the day and our word of the day for today is resilient you've probably heard it a lot in school okay so if you do know what it means go and tell an adult in your house what it means and if you don't and if you still know what it means, you can still listen out to, you know, how we could use it in a sentence and synonyms for it. Okay, so resilient, it's an adjective. Okay, and it's to be able to withstand or recover quickly from difficult conditions or situations. Okay, um, we've got some synonyms for resilient. Strong, tough, hardy, quick to recover, quick to bounce back, buoyant difficult to keep down, irrepressible, adaptable and flexible and resilient in a sentence is babies are generally far more resilient than new parents realise. Okay now how about you try and put this word in a sentence of your own and tell an adult. Okay you can pause the video and do that. Okay well done. So like I said, you, you had your spellings given to you from yesterday to practice. Hopefully you would have practiced your five spellings for today. And we're going to start off with our spelling test for today. Okay, so be ready. We've got five words. So your first word is accident. 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 I had an accident today on my way to work. And your next word is accidentally, <clears throat> accidentally, accidentally. She accidentally sat on my seat. Your next word is actual, 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 okay. So the actual cost of a repair was much, much higher than it was supposed to be, actual. Your next word is address, address. She lives at my address. Your next word is although, although, okay. although the beach was beautiful, we had a horrible day, although, okay, so those were your five words for today, you'll have your next five for next week given to you at the end of this lesson, so now let's go through the answers. Please pause the video for yourself and then check how many you've got correct. Try to keep a record of how many you get correct every time. And uh, yes, hopefully you're all getting five. If you've got less than three, please go do some star jumps. Do 20. Every week the star jumps is going to increase. So if you get less than three on a weekly basis, you're going to have to start doing more star jumps. So go for the answers, please. Okay, guys. So <clears throat> make sure you write the date and learning attention for today. Make sure they're both underlined just like we would do in school usually. So date and under, uh, L-I right at the top, underline it. Okay, so today, the learning attention for today is to be able to use inverted commas. I want you to take a minute to read out Leon and Aisha's conversation between each other. And then I want you to think, what is wrong with the text? 
what do you think is wrong with their conversation pause the video for yourself for around 30 seconds to a minute however long you need try to figure out what do you think is wrong with their text hi Aisha I like your new top thank you it is new I wore it for my birthday what does that sound like doesn't it sound a bit weird like what does it need yes well done they are having a conversation but they need something to turn their conversation into a speech text and what do you think they need to turn their conversation into a speech text pause the video for a minute or two and tell your tell the adult next to you or just write it down on a piece of paper what you think they need in order to turn their speech into a text yes we need inverted commas well done so what are inverted commas inverted commas show words that are spoken and it looks like a 66 and a 99 66 at the beginning and a 99 at the end just like you can see over here now let's read it with the inverted commas hi Aisha I like your new top comma and then inverted comma said Leon thank you it is new I wore it for my birthday replied Aisha you can see both of their words the words that are spoken are said out loud those words are in inverted commas this direct speech uses inverted commas you can see the inverted commas highlighted in pink. Hi Aisha, I like your new top, said Leon. They look like commas floating in the air, just like the one at the end of top but the bottom one. Inverted commas mark the beginning and end of direct speech, which are words that are spoken, words that are said out loud. Okay, hi Aisha, said Leon. Hi Aisha, said Leon. Can you spot the difference in the two spoken words that Leon has said? Pause the video for 10 to 15 seconds and see if you can figure it out. Once you're done, we'll then start the, continue the video and we'll go through the answers. Okay, so inverted commas can be used as double or single. And as you can see over here in the first picture, he's used two inverted commas and in the second one, there's only one however you can use either but it is important to choose either double or single and stick to them don't switch between them during your writing okay so you can use both notice where a comma appears in these sentences hi Aisha comma said Leon the comma appears before the last inverted comma so any punctuation that is required within the conversation or the spoken words has to fall in between the inverted commas so we've got inverted commas and they can be called two different names they've got two different names have a go you've got 10 seconds try to think if you know what else they're called pause the video and then have a go for another 10 seconds okay they're also called speech marks or quotation marks. So how do we use inverted commas? We've got five rules of using inverted commas. Once you remember all these five rules, you'll be able to ace using inverted commas in your writing. Okay, so rule number one, beginning and ending. Firstly, keep your speech marks at the beginning and end of the words being spoken. So words that are words that you would say out loud those are words being spoken lower please so you see the things that i've just said are both in inverted commas i said i don't say i said out loud so that is not inside the inverted commas rule number two new speaker means new line start a new line whenever someone new speaks because we don't want to get confused with what's being said by who. So if it's on a new line, it's a lot clearer who's saying what. How are you doing today? Asked Harry, asked Henry. I'm great, said Ashton. So both of these are on separate lines. If we had continued, I'm great, 
in the same line as what Henry had said, it would be a lot confusing to read and it wouldn't really sound like a conversation or speech. Okay, so rule number three. Begin the direct speech with a capital letter. Just like we'd always do when we're writing, we start everything off with a capital letter. So what an amazing day, he announced. And as you can see again, all the punctuation being used is inside the inverted commas. Rule number four, punctuation. Make sure your speech is correctly punctuated. This includes a piece of punctuation before closing the inverted commas. Okay, so let's have a read over this one. There are times, comma, I feel that you are a little cold, comma, and then inverted commas. And then I said, all the punctuation falls inside the inverted commas because they come within the conversation or the words that are being spoken. They fall within that, so they come in the inverted commas. Rule number five, reporting clauses. Include in your sentence information about who is speaking and who and even how they're speaking. This is called the reporting clause. So it is very, it is very important to identify the speaker in conversations. We need to know who said what. That's why it's important to label what's being said by who. <clears throat> Here is an example. There are times I feel that you're a little, a little cold, I said. So now let's move on to a little practice. What I want you to do is to correct the sentences below by adding the inverted commas in the correct places before we move on to the main task. Uh, I want you to pause the video and you've got it's only four sentences so I'll give you a minute per sentence so you've got around four minutes to try this little starter and then we'll go through the answers before you move on to the actual task. Pause the video for yourself and have a go. So let's go through the answers now. Let's go through the first one. So it starts off with an inverted comma. You either stick to 66 and 99 at the end or a single 6 and a single 9. So as you can see I've done a 6 and a 9. 6 at the beginning and 9 at the end. So inverted comma I enjoy playing at the park my comma at the bottom my punctuation and then nine, 9 at the top murmured Amira so how Amira said it is out of what she has said so it's not doesn't fall within the inverted commas your next one 6 inverted comma the sun is out and the sky is blue my punctuation required and then I've got a 9 at the top to close my inverted comma my speech replied J how J said it the third one start off with a six inverted comma my friends make me smile punctuation and with a nine inverted comma explain Patrice and then the last one I love Fridays close with a nine inverted comma commented Ruben well done guys if you've um, made any mistakes mistakes like we do in school make sure you correct any mistakes that you've made and uh, pause the video for yourself and then we move on to the task so you can choose for yourself challenge one or challenge two whichever one you feel confident doing if you want you can have a go at both challenges but you only need to do one challenge so either choose challenge one which is to write down five rules for using inverted commas okay and then write a conversation between you and another person that is challenge one if you're confident do this one and then if you want to challenge yourself you can do challenge two and then if you want you can do this challenge which is to write a story about anything you like and make sure you include inverted commas to show direct speech conversation between two people and use expanded noun phrases which was learning from yesterday choose one of the challenges for yourself 
uh, pause the video for around 15 to 20 minutes you can take longer if you'd like and then you could go through the answers on the next slide okay so this is the model that I've made for challenge two uh, this is something uh, this is it's very similar to what I would like you to produce not exactly but your story is going to be about whatever you like so every story needs a title the old man okay let's start off with once upon a time there lived an old country man with green eyes that's your expanded noun phrase who was married to the woman of his dreams for 50 long years unfortunately they would argue all the time about what to have for dinner and then you've got your conversation with inverted commas you've got your capital letters starting off the conversation what do you want for dinner shouted the old lady i want anything green said the countryman what does that mean screamed the woman in anger so that's your example pause the video on this if you want this to help you do yours and these are the answers for challenge one pause the video you don't have to have it written exactly the way it is or exactly what i've written but if you've got something similar that's fine even if it's in your own words so this is your spelling test list for next week monday's uh, grammar lesson make sure you learn all five of these and you'll be tested on this next week um, good luck with all the work and please send over any work that you do and you know what you could send a, send us pictures of your spelling test that you do as well so good luck with the work today and see you guys soon